How to Lose Everything is a CBC arts series that features five indigenous animated short films that explore personal stories of loss. Now, each episode is available in both English and the indigenous language of the writer. And our next guest is from Southeast BC. Smokey Sumac is the writer and performer of There Are Hierarchies of Grief. Smokey, hello there and welcome to our Vancouver. Hello, thank you for having me. So tell us, what, what was the inspiration for this film? So this film actually came about, I, or I wrote the poem on the day that Trump was elected in the United States. And as a transgender two-spirit person, as an indigenous person, I was feeling very down. And so I wrote a poem that was to mothers who had lost children because I honored their strength. And basically I know some friends who have unfortunately lost children and I'm always in awe of how strong they have been throughout that process. So this is sort of an ode to them. Yeah, and for, for you going through your own process, where, where did you go for help with this, this feeling of grief? I think I go to my writing a lot. And then I also go to um, other people who have experienced it. So the creator of this entire project, Krista Couture, for example, has a memoir, How to Lose Everything. And that's how, where the inspiration came for this group of films. And I actually have read so many grief memoirs and that's one of my favorites because I find our work of artists and writers can help us know that we're not alone. Yeah, good point. And uh, again, those conversations with other mothers who have experienced loss too must have been helpful. What, what, what did you learn from some of them? I think grief is such a long journey. And so the biggest gift that I got was honoring that. And so, for example, I had, I had lost uh, somebody very close to my life and I called a few of my friends, some of them that are in this poem. And Krista actually said to me at one point, I'm so sorry. And I wish that I had words to say that it, it, it's going to be okay, but it's a long journey. And I just hold that space for you. And I think that is such a gift for us to be able to feel whatever we're feeling in those moments. All right. But uh, one thing is feeling what you're feeling. And another thing is to, to put it to, to create this work. So how did you go about creating the film? So I've been so incredibly lucky to be part of this project. I, I had written the piece and the piece came very quickly on that day. And this poem sort of had a life of its own. And then when I got to work with an animator and see it visualized and to have this conversation and to share our, our grief stories together, it really became something new. And I think you'll see that with the film. It's, it's very different than reading it on a page. It's been, it's really brought it to life and offering something for everyone out there. Yeah. And we are going to be able to see it in just a moment, but I, I'd like to hear from you, you know, what, what does it mean for you to have this film, you know, widely available in the Tunaka language too? It's unbelievable. So Tunaka is a language isolate and we have about 20 speakers left. Um, and so we're, we are a very endangered language and we have language revitalization happening all over our nation. I'm very excited about the young people doing the work, but to have this level, to have our language out there for anyone to be able to, to watch on CBC, um, on CBC Gem is just so, I, I have no, I almost have no words because uh, this language, I didn't think I'd ever be able to learn and to be able to actually do this work with my elders and with my uncle who helped me do the translation and helped me do the recording. It's a gift to reconnect to something that I thought was lost. No, me. well put, well put. And you know, there's this film, it may have been inspired by a particular incident or a particular moment of grief, but how do you think these kinds of lessons or, or messages can help a broader range of people deal with their grief? I think that unfortunately in these years of the 2020s, we, we understand there's been such a big grief around all of us, whether it's the pandemic, the isolation, all of those kind of things, or if you're facing the death of a close person, and so I believe that this speaks to a universal experience. And we hope with the entire project that our pieces are connecting to you and help you feel and own some of your grief stories as well. Smokey, really great to connect with you today. Thank you so, so much. Thank you.